Hey Vikes, I'm Tara. And I'm Alexis. And you're watching SVTV. Here are your daily announcements. The library is hosting an internship presentation this afternoon, so senior laptop turn-in will close at 1 today. Congratulations to freshman Addison Cashman, who is a finalist in this year's Artifact competition at the Lowell Malkin Center for Unsung Heroes for the creation of her mixed media painting titled Dear Mr. Schultz. There will be several international students coming to the Seaman area that are needing host families. If you are interested in hosting an international student for the 2021-2022 school year, please contact Deborah Sturgeon. If you signed up for the Europe trip, please plan to attend our first group meeting on May 20th at 6.30 p.m. in the Freshman Commons. Please talk with Mr. Calhoun or Mr. Riley if you have any questions. If you qualified for a final waiver, you should have received an email from Ms. Geis with instructions. You can pick up your waivers anytime from the front office. Waivers are due next Wednesday. Contact Ms. Guys with any questions. Topeka Way to Work is offering summer professional development training for students who will be sophomores, juniors, or seniors during the 2021-2022 school year. Please see the flyer or Ms. Solier for details. Applications are due May 28th. Seniors, if you will be attending an educational institution after you graduate from high school, they will want a final high school transcript that verifies that you graduated. Current freshmen interested in joining the Writing Center should submit their virtual application by Wednesday, May 19th at 3.05 p.m. An email will be sent to confirm the reception, receipt of your submission. Accepted applications will receive a formal letter developed to CLP teachers. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Stands in room W7. If you are interested in joining Viking Brew Coffee Shop next school year, please see Ms. Dowling in W9 for applications. Allie caught up with some seniors to see what advice they had for underclassmen. What's up, Vikes? It is officially the seniors' last week here at SHS, and I went around the building to ask if they had any advice for you guys. Let's check it out. I'm Jordan Riggles, and my advice to underclassmen is become friends with Mr. Kevin Hoffman's because he is the best. When you go to Beanheads, order a 16 ounce caramel iced coffee with hazelnut, cream, and almond milk. Use Slater for all of your math classes. My biggest piece of advice is to wear sunglasses when you're walking down the hallway. I would just stay on Tatiana's good side, honestly. Don't do drugs. Go to class. Don't go to school. I would give advice to the underclassmen to uh, be as involved as possible and just have as much fun as possible. Don't die. Live, laugh, laugh. Don't be afraid to break it down at the school dances. Enjoy the rest of the school year that you guys have. Now back to your anchors. That was some great advice. Now to sports after this quick commercial break. Senior week starts on Monday. This is what you need to know. Finals will take place from the 11th to 13th, along with laptop check-ins. Alternate transportation day is on Thursday. Meet at Mother Teresa at 7 and prepare to drive down 50th. Later on Thursday will also be the night at the tennis courts. Make sure and bring your lawn chairs. Friday morning is the final run through the halls, followed by graduation practice and the cookout. Good luck on your final week, seniors. Why is your mask down? Why not? We're in a global pandemic. You should seriously be wearing your mask. Well, okay. Don't be like Olivia. Wear your mask right.
congrats to the boys golf team for their second place team finish at the Emporia Tournament. Individual medalists were Gavin Wilhelm in third and Zach Weir in fifth. Any student that had had a physical done at the Cotton O'Neill Clinic on May 1st, please stop by Athletics and see Ms. Chere for her paperwork has for you. All boys that were on the basketball team this year and any other boys planning to try out next year should attend the informational meeting Thursday at 1.15 in the West Commons. Let's go learn more about SVTV. Students should join SVTV for the experience. Uh, students should join SVTV because it gives you real world experiment experience. My favorite part about SVTV would be that our work is like showcased throughout the school so it's pretty interesting because not a lot of classes do that. My favorite part is getting to work with all the graphics. <laughs> SVT is looking for new members next year. Make sure to join if you're interested. Now let's check out student summer plans and then over to weather with Zoe. Probably hang out with my friends and like go fishing and stuff. Too. Plans for this summer is I'm going to be doing a lot of soccer conditioning and a little bit of basketball conditioning too. And then I'm going to the country stampede with my sister. I'm really excited for that. Hang out with friends, have fun. I'm just excited because like COVID restrictions aren't as much this year, so I just wanna have a little bit more of normalcy. Um, I'm gonna be working all summer and going to band camp. Oh, just probably a lot of swimming and like summer conditioning and weights and stuff and a lot of sports. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a lot of baseball and then also umpiring when I have free time to do it. I'm going to start working at Stormont Vale as like a receptionist type thing. I'm planning on working a lot, then going to the pool, doing stuff like that, hoping that stuff will be open so I can actually do stuff. I'm going to hang out with my boyfriend. I have a cheer camp to go to, and I'm going to start working out. So, hot girl summer 2021. <laughs> Vikings, the clouds have officially moved out of the area for the next couple of days. Today we are going to be a little bit cooler with our temperatures reaching up into the mid-60s by this afternoon. We have been experiencing thunderstorms quite frequently this past week, but we are going to have a little break today and tomorrow, possibly even having thunderstorms late tomorrow night. Today and tomorrow are going to be our only days with a break before we kick right back into having thunderstorms and cloudy skies almost every day. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, like I said, make sure to take advantage of today and tomorrow because we are going to be having thunderstorms and rain at least for the next couple of, for the next week. And our temperatures are going to start warming back up into the 70s area, possibly reaching the 60s every now and then. Now back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.